Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm Max from Harrison Silverdale and today I'm here to show you how to use our HS1000 heat staking tool to install threaded inserts into plastic mouldings. Now both the tool and the insert used in today's video can be found on our website to which I'll leave a link in the description. The HS1000 is a hand operated heat staking tool designed to install inserts ranging from M1.4 to M6 into FDM materials and thermoplastics. This simple cost-effective tool is great for low volume applications and 3D printed projects, making it a valuable addition to any tool room. The insert being used in this demonstration today is our 20106 IS in Sonic insert. What makes this insert unique is its opposing helix snow which was designed for heat or ultrasonic insertion. The 20106 range is the alternative to the 20104 pressing range as the pressing mill flows in the same direction. The supposing nail the Insonic insert has allows for exceptional resistance to torque loads and provides greater pull-out loads. As 3D printing has grown, we are seeing an increasing amount of interest for the tool and the inserts as people are wanting to use them in their prototypes. The jig I'll be using has been made on our 3D printer, the layer height was 0.2mm with a 15% infill density. Now of course if you are using these inserts in 3D printed models, the loads the inserts can take will vary depending on the infill density. So to prep the tool for use, it's pretty simple. What you're going to do is you're going to take the correct size tip, so we're using an M6 insert today, so we're going to be using an M6 tip. What you do, basically all you have to do is screw the little grub screw that's provided with the tip into the top of the tip. And then what we're going to do is we're then just going to screw that into the bottom of the probe. It can be quite a bit fiddly. And we get that in and just screw that until it's nice and tight. And then what you need to do is you get your, uh, your plastic moulding. So we're just gonna be using a little jig that I printed off earlier for this one. Uh, we're gonna put that, make sure that it's nice and secure. You balance your M6 insert, as I said earlier, the 20106 IS, and you're gonna balance that on the top of the plastic moulding. Now, what you will need to do is you'll need to make sure that you adjust the, adjust the tool. So there's the handles on the thing. So we've got one at the back that just lifts the one up and down, which is the main one to use, just so that you can make sure that there is enough stroke in the tool to be able to set the insert all the way down. I've already set this up, so I know that there's enough stroke already. Once that's done, you're ready to turn it on. So turn it on at the plug and then again at the machine, and you should know it's working because the front panel should light up and come on. So what we then do here is we press the little return arrow here because this is counting up to set the temperature and that shows you what its target temperature is. So it's set for 250 degrees. That's probably right for an M6 insert. If we turn it up for a larger insert and possibly down for a smaller one, it basically it's just how hot the tip is. So the hotter it is, the quicker your setting times are. And obviously the M8 inserts take longer to heat up, whereas the smaller inserts don't take as long. Then you can just go back to see what temperature it is. Okay, so now that the tool has heated up to the desired temperature, 250 degrees of what we set it at, it's not going to stay exactly on 250, it's going to fluctuate up and down a little bit, but that's okay. But once it's set and it's at the temperature, you're ready to go. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a little bit of pressure on the handle and bring it down slowly until the top of the insert meets the top of the tip. We're going to leave it there for a few seconds just to warm the insert up and then we're going to slowly apply some more pressure until the insert starts to get pressed into the plastic and then as the top of the insert meets the top of the plastic molding we're going to start and we're going to bring out the tip and that's it the insert is now inserted into the plastic molding now from there we're just going to give it a few seconds to uh, for the 
insert to cool down and the molding to just set. Bring it out the vice and that's pretty much it. You've got your insert set into your molding or 3D printed part. Um, hopefully you found this video interesting and informative. If you've got any questions, please leave a comment down below and I'll uh, happily answer it. Or if you want any more information, please get in touch with the office and the sales team will be happy to assist. But yeah, if you've liked this video, please leave a like. And again, if you're new around here, subscribe and uh, hopefully see you in the next video. Thank you.